I did not believe in the curse. And then they say it took my son and my daughter from me. Both at the same age too. Both dying of as the maester tells me, the stress of life and its worries. House Vela stood firm and strong. Now it sits in a weakened state with no protection. All because of a curse. A curse! This man puts blood on his walls and dooms my family to die? No! I, I won't have it. I can't have it. A curse. Yet my dreams each night, I, I still have these strange dreams. I think nothing of them, of course, but my wife... To put meaning on dreams, as I see it, is a foolish endeavour. Yet these dreams, unlike my old, they, they have a calmness to them. I saw a skeleton rise from the deep, holding a blade to me. I felt fear and knelt to it, and it cut my hand. Yet when I blinked, it had returned my hand to me. I dreamt of a stork. No, two storks. Maybe, maybe three? Each carried a gift upon it. Each wore the colours of my house. I see the red dragon, weak and tired, growing stronger again, breathing fire over icy lands. I think it's all nonsense. Perhaps a bad stew has given me a stomach sickness that has addled the mind for a day or two. Maybe it's old age. <laughs> I am getting old. Either way, I pay no credence to dreams. Dreams and curses are one and the same, an attempt to explain the unexplainable. People die. Everyone knows that. My wives died, my son died, my daughter died. A woman I held dear died on my own orders. That's the way this cruel life works. It's stressful, and it grows more stressful each and every day. But you face it, and you head on. You don't find excuses. <laughs> a curse, a curse! How pathetic. They merely want House Valus dead. I shan't let it happen. I can sense there is some light to come after the dark. There is hope for us yet. Even if I'm not there to see it. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. We'll be continuing the tales of Lord Aaron the Black, of House Avalis, who has suffered uh, plenty of cases of the curse. First it was his wife, uh, sorry, his first wife dying at the age of 31, then his second wife passed away at a natural age, and now <laughs> his son died at age 23. And his daughter died of age 23, from stress and depression, <laughs> equally. And ended our alliance with the Westerlands and leaves us quite weak. Sarah is now our heir and our future, despite being a legitimized bastard. And already, after all of my efforts to trying to keep the white heir, we've already bloody lost it. And we can probably get it back hopefully in a future generation. Either way, we want to keep House Vader's alive. If it dies, it dies. And we will continue. But, even if House of Elis is to die, its blood may not. There are a uh, child or two of uh, Min Minister Tully that may have his blood and may continue Harrenhal for all we know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. We're continuing construction work in Harren Hall. Uh, Harren Hall's doing pretty good at the moment of getting our troops back, but as you can see, the the other provinces are a bit slow. This one we can actually get a decent amount, 159, but it just isn't. And we now obviously also own this one, which is a good thing that we can own four in total, because otherwise there'd be a problem there. But uh, this one obviously used to be our son's, but after his death, Butwell is now ours. But for now, we can have a dimensional size of four because of our oh, stewardship. Yeah, it has got better in over the years. We already have a revoke title on us. Bloody hell. Our armies are nowhere near ready to fight this. How many does he have right now? He has 24k. 
And I guarantee there's no way I could marry Sarah off for a strong alliance. It looks like the best I get was a Rousseau. Especially if I turn on Matrilineal. Yeah. No alliances. Which tiles even trying to revoke? <sighs> it pains me to do. It really pains me to do, but I'm considering giving this up. I don't know if I want to fight the war for this. Because he already considers me a traitor. So if I say no, and he imprisons me, he may be forcibly end my line. Hmm. Either way, there's, there's sure that I need to start swaying him. I see his heir is a Valyrian, which is really interesting. If he doesn't have a son, that uh, Veramon would inherit, and the Cahiris line would already be dead. <sighs> I, I will accept in this case. It's annoying. It's it's upsetting to do so, but sometimes you have to take the loss of the wins, and we have just been battered in war after war, and we just do not have an army anymore. And it's it's just unfortunate that our lord hates us. I miss entirely because of the trader. Like the foreigner is barely even a thing for him. It's mostly just being a trader. And that's not going away for a while. <laughs> hey, at least Vermin doesn't think I'm a trader, right? No, he just thinks I'm cruel and rude. <laughs> Which would be correct. And now he's kicked me off the council as well. I mean, dude, there's nobody more suited to be a steward than me. That much I can promise you. Let's get defences up. Cause, or maybe barracks. Yeah, barracks. Because I have more aids that possibly he may keep, keep a knock in. If he does, I would like to be prepared. Really? I want to make this clear. Uh, I, I mentioned that I may do a save in it, right? To, to get a Targaryen on the throne, which I did do. And it ended up being the twins. One of them died, which says all you need to know there. I did not <laughs> save it this. <laughs> if there is... I will be stunned if I am the father. I mean, she could take leave. There, there is no way this is, this is my child. Absolutely no chance. If it is, I have... Incredible stamina. <laughs> oh dear. I regret to have you forced me to sully my hands in this matter, but unless you swear not form factions conspiring against me, I'll, I'll I won't form any factions against you if it will keep you liking me maybe a little bit. Oh, he wait, he likes me already. Really? Was that? No, that's no. His opinion of me is eight. I was gonna say, why was I looking up there? His opinion of me is eight, so he does like me a little bit. Oh, by doing good service, I've I've removed the modifier about being a traitor. Okay, well that might keep me in good graces for a little bit then, which I sorely need. But the fact he's owning this directly is a bit of a worry, because it means I'm gonna have the Kahiris right on my border now. Uh, sure, I'm gonna have some new clothes, my wife. I can request a title. He'll say no. It'll be funny to request it. And I lose 50 prestige. Eh, I've got enough prestige to lose. I'm an old man. Done nothing but build prestige my whole life. How, how is the uh, future queen? She's eight now. Oh, a uh, trial by combat in High Garden. Oh, the Oak Hearts proved their innocence in a trial by combat. Yeah, come spend some time with me, buddy. Come on. If you say no, you're a coward. Let's go! Look at that, we're just building up diplomatic relations again. And he hates me. <laughs> oh, dear. This is the most back and forth relationship you're ever going to see me and, me and, eight, me and bloody Medgar. I wonder what the rest of his vassals think of him. Let's have a look. Okay, I've had another daughter. Uh, I should like Vizenia. I should have got my Vizenia. Oh, Dana. I do like Dana. Another brown-haired one, so... Can't be sure of the lineage there. Okay, you aren't a fan of him. You hate him. 
You're cool with him. Oh no, that's uh, no, that's Medgar's opinion of them. So you actually like Medgar, right? Okay, a little bit. You love him. You're okay with him. Okay. It seems like the general consensus is there. They're okay with him. Considering how many of them turned on the tellies, I wasn't sure they would be. Alright, she is now of age where she could get married. Let's have a look. The will obviously would have to be matrilineal. Laurent of Harvest Hall. Hmm. I will have a look again just to see if there is. Uh, uh, there we go. Search the realm for my culture group. Men not married. Aegon yeah, Krakor is around the same age. Interesting. Okay, let's use age as an example and scroll down. There's a Valerian. Oh, that's favourite. <laughs> It's like, oh, there's a Valerian. Oh, it's my son. <laughs> I think their blood would be a little... Uh, messed up if I did that. Wait. I'm a Targaryen. Let's see if they do it. Because that would be hilarious. And I'm kind of... it. Will, I think it may be a little based. Damn it. Oh, is he your only heir? No, you have so many heirs. He's not even in the line. He's literally not in the line of succession. Why not? That's upsetting to me. Mate, you would say no like that. You're preventing a true Valyrian uh, marriage here. Um, I just wouldn't accept. Damn. I wish I could see more modifiers, see if there was a specific reason. But I might I think it's probably just that they will refuse matrilineal anyway, anyway on that. So the other options would be R4 or Aegon. As I said, I'm slightly over the form of red hair. Aemon of the Scales. Yeah, nothing special about it, but could be a good option if they're willing. They would, yeah, I think that's a good one if we can get that done. Two Westerlossi Valyrians. He's a squire as well, so he could become a knight. So he could become uh, at least a decent. Don't know if he's going to become great. I love how the ruins <laughs> cost one, apparently. I do not think they cost one. My friend and I planned to go hunting, but when he broke his leg, I realised I had to, either had to find someone else, company, or cancel altogether. So, Willowman, let's go hunting. I managed to kill too much prey when I went hunting with Sir Willem, and it said to sell some meat. Okay, there's no option to give him the money. Might have done it, you know. Where's the, where's where's my options? I always love the name of Deddington. Deddington is such a great name. <laughs> it's so funny seeing Ed Edmund here as an emperor. How short-lived it was, though, him as an emperor. Technically, Manissa was also well, obviously, but <laughs> equally not for long. This gets reinforcements of three a month at max. Okay, looking how good you are, can we... I believe it is train troops that... No, that's just the levy size. Oh, no, but it does give the levy reinforcements uh, one, two. So I think we are going to do that. Let's train troops in Lolliston. Try and get those garrisons back up a little bit. Because our main garrison's doing quite good. Pikemen haven't come back though. Don't know where they're hiding off. Could make some upgrades here. Ooh, tax income. Yes. This one fit all of its taxes. Okay, so I was going to say, do I need to improve any holdings? No, not currently. I don't know why he's in my acquaintance, but apparently he died in the mysterious circumstances. So I have another child because of the first night. I mean, she 
to piss off Bush yet. Alion will acknowledge her as mine because she may have white hair, so she may actually be useful. Uh, we'll give you a focus on etiquette. Dana, let's give you a focus on... I've not done one on Faith, have I? I think Faith could be interesting. I don't know who she is, but she's a Kahiris, apparently. Could send him some courtesans. No, I don't want to spend that much money on him. Does he like me again? No, but he's, he's slowly getting used to it. Oh, a feast is a good idea. A feast is a good way to get back in his good books. Because we need to. We sorely need to. What is going on? <laughs> there is no way these are mine. <laughs> if they are, Aaron is going to go down in the history books as my greatest ruler. The Walder Frey of this timeline. He's my rival? Oh no, my rival is um, Sir Brynden Tully. Hmm. Do I hate him enough to do that? There's a 50% chance of no effect. I mean, look at my traits again. I have Cruel and Rufus, right? Fuck it, why not? Damn it! Nothing happened. I hit the 50% of the 50-50. I can't believe it. Well, she actually inherited my strong. And she's not the only one of my living to inherit strong. Yeah, she is. Is that... Did Dana have... Dana has quick. Dana has quick. Dana's the only one to pick up a quick. Dana may actually be mine. How virile... Are you Lord Aaron? <laughs> Chad, I know I know that their fertility rate doesn't go to zero. It's only females whose fertility rate goes to zero. But my god man, it's like must be like twenty percent and he's still able to do this. Very impressive. I'm the keeper of swans. Oh, Sarah has grown up and in growing up she put on a hat. Huge moment for the household that Sarah has put on a hat. Uh, let's get a militia training ground up. People are conspiring to kill me. Oh my. Uh, can I get my spy master on this? Mm. Yeah, let's keep scheming. Yeah, we'll have some mates dispatch with my wife. Because apparently these kids are mine somehow. I'm just that virile. It's interesting that Dasha... Or Dana, sorry. Uh, was able to get quick from me. That makes... I mean, Dana would be a very good heir then. Obviously, I've legitimized Sarah now. So Sarah is my heir. Even though her mother is unknown. I mean, the mother of a lowborn. Although it probably wouldn't be a lowborn because it's... The, she was born for the first night. So I don't know if they'd be in lowborn. They'd probably be like a sir. Because I believe the... The first night does apply to everybody, but you know, the Lord of Harrenhal isn't going to turn up at any, just anybody's wedding. Unless he's like Robert. The plot's to kill some of my... No, I don't want to kill my master at arms. I had a son! After all of that... So after... <laughs> this is like perfect symmetry, guys. After two people, it's two children dying last session. Last episode, I've had two children this episode. I like Agor. I think Agor's a sick name. He's also quick! Well, Agor, please stay alive. Um, I want to get you on duty. Right? Yes. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> we... This is the most... The best man who could have ever taken control during the curse, because this guy is incredibly virile. 64 years old as well. The problem is, of course, now... Let's be real, he's going to die in like two seconds. Either two seconds or like 20 years. No in between. And when he does, we're going to be ruled by a child. So. May not be the the best of situations either way. I love how it's never. <laughs> Levy shifty noble obligations. Why does this rain go down of me again? 
How did I... Okay, I do know how I provoked you. That's true. I do remember provoking you, actually. But... When did I... Okay, I was about to say, when did I crawl you? But it's... I'll watch Dana's gonna die because Curse of Heron or something. Change tyranny by five, change fear by five, and gain some gold or gain stress. Mm. What's my tyranny at right now? Um, it's already cost me a bit of vassal opinion. Yeah. So, old King Heron had thousands of slaves. Oh, sister event again. Uh, slavery is outlawed, but I could, could put prisoners to work. Who Wendell is my only prisoner, and I lose some piety. But it will hasten the restoration. If I don't do it, it will slow it down. Yeah, I want to hasten things up a bit. I'll go, like, pray in front of a stone to make up for it, or something. Hmm. Do I want? I want to get my roll risk down a bit. I think. Though. Let's see. I figure I have to. Surely I have to go for a stewardship-based activity, just because how incredible my stewardship is. Like, surely this this has to sway the dude. Ignore the fact that I have opinion minus a hundred of him because he revoked my title. I forgot I selected to build a war chest, so I need to save up five hundred for a bit. I'm fine not spending for a little while. I do not want to admit we got lost. I will stay lost forever if it means having to admit I did nothing wrong. I love how X thought subjects is an option. See what options lie before you. <laughs> no, I don't need any of these at the moment. The only one that would be interesting is obviously converting cultures, but as I said, I have no intention of doing so. I know that um, House Cahiris did so. House, House Cahiris basically, once they had control of Harrenhal, uh, the first Lord of Cahiris and sort of raised his sons more as um, Rivermen than he did as um, Westerosi Valyrian to try and, like, integrate himself in. But, you know, I've been sort of pushing myself more as, like, you know, I'm the Targaryen's representative in the Riverlands, in a way. So I'm going to try and keep myself a Valyrian for at least a while. Definitely not within Aeron's generation. And probably not within um, Aegor's. Can I educate him myself? I don't want to grant him a title. Because he's too young for that. He can be granted it when he's um, of age. Assume, I mean, that's true. Aeron's probably not going to be alive when he's 15. Because Aeron would be 80. Hey, maybe he's like Lord uh, Lord Steed. If if he's like anything like Giles, then we're in for a wild ride. But I don't know if he is. He's not ill yet, but he's still old, and old people can die at any time in this game. Died under suspicious circumstances at age thirty-six. Wonder who did that. Wow! Congrats. Uh, oh shit! Yaiti's pretty fucking big. <laughs> We're not going to look over there. We're just going to ignore this whole side of the world, as we always do. Nothing bad can happen there. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. As long as we don't look over at Ba Sing Se. Oh! The realm is at war! Um, my liege is neutral on this matter. So what is Rhaenys fighting against here? Rhaenys is fighting Lord Stark in the war against the tyranny of... Hmm... Let's look at the actual numbers here. So it's just Lord Brandon of the North and Lord Joffrey of the Vale. Those are interesting numbers, actually. 21k and 19k. And the Queen has 37. The Westlands, I think, joined. So the Westlands has 21. So they should win, right? And the Stormlands also joined. Yeah, they should win this. I... <sighs> have joined all of her wars, but because of my weakened state right now, I'm going to remain neutral. I'm sure Rainier, uh, like, she, you know, she already has so much control over this war that I'm sure she'd understand me, you know, being like, listen, let's stay out of it for a moment. I 
Look, I'm just trying to build my walls, okay? I'm just trying to build my towers, that's all. What? Aaron. Buddy. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> with his last two wives. Barely. Had one had one child with his... Uh, no, was it with his second wife? No, Damon was his first wife, yes. Yeah. So he had what two children with his first wife. And then had nobody. H had to have... Asher from his third wife had Sarah from a come on, and then now with his third wife. No, it's still for her. So four children it's going to be with his third wife. Ooh, prosperity. I will never say no to prosperity and I'll never say no to putting the prisoners at work. You're known as the silver hair. Very astute of you, Medgar. Yes, you do have silver hair. Anything else you'd like to make obvious? God, what's happened to... Oh, I was going to say what's happened to the neck, but no, that's just how it looks like. This weird split it has in this mod. I've been playing too much CK3 where it's actually split normally. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'll share some knowledge of stewardship with him. I'll teach him what a tower is, because we have a lot of them. He loves it. He's like, wow. You guys have towers? No way. How's the recruitment effort? Is it working here? Look at that. Nine a month. That's three times as many as we had before. Bloody incredible. Cursed Iron Throne. <laughs> Imagine if this was just what the Iron Throne was. The Crownlands and Stormlands. You know, it's after bloody... Winds of Winter, it might be. New High Septum. Hope this one likes me. Because the last one, I'm not sure. You saw me kill a lot of prisoners. And I'd like to make clear, they deserved it. I will do it again, if asked. I love just seeing the Reach when coming through. So you have the Florence coming through. The Florence... No, the Florence uh, looks like they joined against the Reach, actually. Yeah, they're against the Reach, but they went through the Reach instead. Another son! So I now... <laughs> After years of worrying about what if my son dies, I now have a... In the, in the space of a year of each other, right? Because he's not even a year old yet. Yeah, in the space for you, each other, I have my my heir and my spare. Sure, we'll name him after me. Did I name? I didn't name my first son. I mean, you can be called Aaron. This is. I literally started off the episode. Thing. Oh, wait, he's sick. Of course, he's sick. Watch him die. Even even if he dies, like you've done, you've done enough. That'll do, Aaron. That'll do. I've done nothing to increase this man's fertility. He lived. He's sickly, but he, he has a chance because he got um, successful treatment here. So they, they don't fully cancel each other out, but it's close. Uh, let's give you humility. Look at that. He's not, he's not quick like Aegor, though. Just sick. And now you wish to appoint me as your treasurer. Smart decision, buddy. Smart decision. Look, let's, we're we're mending the wound. Oh, look at that. And it also made me come out as well. And my kids can marry. Go ahead. Because you're third in line, so I'm still happy for you to keep this uh, matrilineal marriage here. Perfect. It means we could use Dana to get an actual alliance. But at her age, yeah, it seems like all the kids will also be young. When she grows up, we can look at an alliance. Ah, oh, you legend. Getting the reinforcement rate up. Oh, it's up to 10. Whee! <laughs> Let's give you a live war update. Currently, 40% in Rhaenys' favour. Oh, and a big win for Dawn there. Wait, no, did Dawn lose? No, Dawn definitely won. I have a loan? Uh, sure. I'll just pay off the loan. I forgot I took one. Oh, has, Cohes has Coheris joined the war? He has. Now that the war's basically won, he's decided to join it. <laughs> People are trying to kill my daughter, Sarah. That is worrying. At least I've discovered it. See, he's the rhythm and culture, even though he's a Coheris. 
As I said, how scary is it to try and merge and join? For Willow Wood. Where's Willow Wood? Oh, it's over here. I'm sure you got this, Kaharis. You have enough army already raised. I love this guy, for some reason, <laughs> has remained at the bed for all of this. I don't know how. He's still part of the war. He's also a strong. That's interesting. I was, uh, I knew that the strongs were in the Riverlands before they took over the Tron. I just didn't know where. I've been reading the Seven Pointed Star, and it claims that death is not something a true believer should be afraid of. So I could, I would lose all of my sinful traits and piety. Sarah is known as the Strange. That's funny. Or I would have a twenty percent chance. Of, hmm. But it would get rid of lustful. Obviously, lustful is probably what's giving me all the kids. Greedy. I mean, I like natural attack modifier. And cruel's actually pretty good because of the morale damage, the intrigue. Don't, don't, don't get me stressed. Okay, we did it. But my piety just never gets to stay stable. Look at that. These these guys never stood a chance. To be fair, they even did the north. How's this, how's your, uh, how's this prowess? Because it looks like he's actually commanding. Terrible. I think mine's probably better than that still, right? And I'm 67 years old. <laughs> Yeah, it's 67, but I'm still fit as a fiddle. Sure, give me the same event twice in a row again, why not? Look at the north. The north looks like it's got a bad infection. Look at that. Our relation's going way up with our lord. And he's had a son now, Lord Quentin. Quentin Coheris. You are so original, you named him after your dad. And isn't he named after his dad? No, he's just, a, he's, he's just named after Quentin. Of course, he's the original Quentin. The, obviously, if you know your actual CK law, uh, Quentin Coheris is the actual owner of Harrenhal. But obviously, in our custom house game, he did not get Harrenhal because I got Harrenhal. But uh, I wanted to keep the Coheris alive, just in general. You better not be coming near me, Lord Robin. You better not. You better watch your ass out. Edmund was hanged on the orders of Lord Medgar. Who are you? I don't know who that is. Wow, what a mighty victory for Lord Robin of the Vale. Is this still the original Lord Robin? No, no, no. Robin Robin died. Yeah, so we have Joffrey the Young Falcon, who's the son of Lord Joris at the Wall? Goodness, I don't have... Okay. Well, we're all going to go through all of this all at once. At the age of... Okay, it was stress that killed him. Stress kills everybody. But at the age of 67, I think that's actually reasonable. Your father, Lord uh, Aaron Valeris, died. Aaron the Black, I think you mean. And then that falls on him to the side of make a funeral a big one. He will have a very large funeral. And... Oh, right, I have to click on the thing and give me my gold first, right? It's invited by two of the kinsmen as their inheritance. Where's my, where's my share of the money? Where's my share of the money? Do I not get my share of the money? So it was given to the kinsmen and not to me? Maybe I'm misunderstanding that. Um, we'll invite all of Harrenhorn then. That's not good. Okay, how much do I lose by Warhold Large Feast? So yeah, I... I spent enough to satisfy people's hunger. Um, yeah, I'm a very poor military loot ruler, so that costs us here. But we also get costs with immense size. Because my regent sucks? Who's my regent? Yeah, yours absolutely suck. Um, I can't really take the prestige hit, but I I'll take the prestige over the gold hit right now. But we do have cobblestone at least. Even if we didn't get any of our money, apparently. So I guess it's because he had so many children. The children, other children get the money. And I get the lands. Didn't know that's how it, was, how it worked. But I'm probably going to need to give these away. Is part of the problem. Because being over size is going to cost me. 
For now, I'm still earning money, so I'm going to stay above it a bit. Interesting. Huh. So since I... Since um, he already had them, he didn't have this, but it turns out putting the pistol to work, he has a chance of being you ruthless or cruel. I did not know that, and now I do. I still think I want to do it. No, at, at this age, I'm going to I won't do it. Not at this age, not at this age. Well, now Harren has a new problem, because we are a child. A child is apparently not liked by Medgar, though. That's not good. Oh, Vermin came of age. And he took his mother's hair. Some of them are the Tullys. The Tullys' all, red hair also seems to be quite, um... Maybe not, you know, strong seed dominant, but quite dominant. Because obviously, uh, Rob Stark has, um, his mother's red hair as well. And, um, Bran has somewhat red hair. And obviously, Sansa has very red hair. So, yeah. Three years old and the ruler of Harrenhal. My mother is saying she's ill. Stop being ill, mother. It's really that simple. It's only morale of armies, actually, in general opinion. We'll just stay in debt for a bit. Let's see, we will need new council. Felena Rivers is ill. That's not good. Um point is my spy master. You'll be my maester slash court tutor, so you'll teach me things and make me smart. Asha loves me because she's my mother. Looking quite sickly already. Uh, let me improve my relations with the king or the lord, please. Um, we'll keep on oversee. We should be fine. Donald's born to Eamon and Sarah. Congrats. So my, my niece. Um, Salise. Rainies. Bainer. I like Bainer. Oh, no. You found this guy. Sir Stefan. He's decent. He's 40. Like, it's not the worst. You know, you'll take anyone to be a commander nowadays. And it looks like the war was won. Rainies keeps power. Not sure what the being able to domain them would be as a problem. Oh, you wish to join the Night's Watch. I give you leave. Off you go. Go join the Night's Watch. Go be Night's Watchy. God, is this, so the, wait, did the Vale not surrender us there, or is this a separate war? No, this is the Veilman Independence, apparently, this war. So it's not it's not the direct tyranny that they're fighting against here. Or at least not directly. Let's see. The cookies I would never steal cookies. Rhaegar Rivers. Um it could be my rifle, my friend. You know what? Let's wreck some havoc, buddy. Let's fucking go. Bane has returned to court. Oh no, this is the different. This is not. Oh no, yeah, this is the Sarah's child. I was about to say this. I was confusing. Hey, money. We're on the positive. I think realistically, right, because it's only two. We're still actually probably better keeping these and giving them away, just because when we're an adult, that number's probably going to go up. Especially if we do well on our um, duty. I wish there were childhood ambitions that you could do. Uh, obviously in CK3 now, I believe you can, because of the new uh, Wars and Wardens update. Uh, but also in CK2, that's never been a thing. Oh, the West March is moving. Wow, you're just finding me a little bunch. Okay, you found me two commanders who are like, okay. Can I just check that this isn't nepotism? Are these guys your secret sons? You're like, I found you another commander. And he, he has the same name as me, and he looks a lot like me when I was a young man. But uh, let's not think on that. All right, bye. <laughs> and you're like, 
Hmm, what a strange man. About 30 troops sieging down Brick Hall. That's going to make a huge difference. What level is the Eerie? Because the Eerie is... Um, unless you have a dragon. The Eerie is... Ah, oh, my mother's died. Totally nothing cursed in her dying so young. I'll have a private funeral because I can't afford to pay for it. And I know she's my mother, but also, like, I'm free. <laughs> I'm three years old. Give me a break. Yeah, this isn't going to be good for Eagles. Like, Eagles not going to be raised, really, as a, um... As a Valus. He's had no Valus in his life. He's being raised by Raymond, though, and Raymond did raise uh, Sarah. I'd like to keep Sarah in court. I want Sarah, in my mind, at least, because obviously we're telling a story here, Sarah to be tutoring a little bit. I, I don't know if I could fully make, it, make her an educator, because she's not a great educator, but, you know, she was raised most of her life by her um, by her father, Aaron. I'm certain she could give Aegor sort of the tale of House of Aelis, teach him a little bit about his house, have him understand it better. Look at his stats going up. He's already up to five stewardship. What a beast. I love the question mark, question mark, minus ten. Don't want to know what that means. <laughs> Is that like the curse gives you minus ten? I don't think so. 10k. This is a very, like, Medgar's got a very impressive army. Like, 20k. For, for the Rivalens, 20k is pretty impressive. It's not the, anywhere near the biggest. But I believe back in the original... God, he held the Reach's Fallen Apart. In the original war against the Iron Throne, they only had 15k. So he's he's been bolstering up a bit since his great-grandfather's war. So wait, it's not great-grandfather, it's just grandfather, right? Yeah, just grandfather. Need to stop assuming everyone's super old, because not everybody is. <laughs> Bay of crabs. Interesting. How's Haraway looks like an absolute chad? Nobody, absolutely nobody, has come to give me this information. It's a blackmail. Damn it! I wanted money. I think the veil lost, and everybody, so everybody should be absorbing back into the throne in a bit. Unless she's still at war. Nope. Yeah, there we go. And we're at war again for a Tyroshi slave raid on Dawn. Well, at least the Iron Throne is actually protecting Dawn. Obviously, I forget about Dawn because it's all the way down there. But obviously, Dawn. Uh, in this time, I was conquered by. I don't think. I don't think it was Aegon. I believe it was your sister, uh, Visenya, who conquered Dawn. Hey, Oris is still alive at fifty-eight. Ah, uh, Master Raymond is no longer my court physician. Has he passed away? My educator is my regent, and he's Toss. I have no court physician. Am I able to do the event for one? Yeah, send for a maester, please. I wanted to pay the coin to get a maester in. Because I want good education here. How good are you? Oh, you're great. You're a wonderful lad. Look at that. Right into the job. And we'll get you in there. So is he a medium educator? If that looks like he is. He is. Wonderful. And more gold. This guy's great. What's his name again? This Castilian. He keeps getting attacked, apparently. But he gets me gold. So. <laughs> you're cool, buddy. Thumbs up from me. I'm going to keep you on perform set ground. I do want to get the relationship with Kahiris, but... Really? Well, this is... The... <laughs> this is an interesting episode, guys. <laughs> this is like the full 360 of an episode. Where he took... <laughs> he took this land off my father. And now he's given it back to me. Albeit it's it's now um, under a vassal. But, I, you know, I, I probably couldn't take it under me anyway because of my immense limit. Also, the main limit. I've been told it's pronounced the main. I'm being stupid. It is pronounced the main. Sorry for being a big dumb idiot. Uh, as I'm uh, known to be. Very well known to be an absolute moron. Well. 
I've got the land back. Didn't you need to conquer for it? Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's because he, he really likes me. There we go. My efforts have been working. He sees I'm a kid and not my dad, and he's like, you know what? You're all right, kid. How actually is this dude? He's not good, but he's called Lord Giles. Uh, Lord Giles, you follow me everywhere, buddy. I hope the summer halls are doing good. Probably not, right? How are they doing? But they're actually ruled by uh, House Hasty, the house I used up in that custom house. But our score's getting pretty good as well. I know Dynasty score means fuck all, but I respect it. I think it's still a valid metric. Right, let's train troops again in Lolliston, right? Actually, look, everywhere has troops. Yeah, Lolliston's the only one that needs them still. Scepter Justin has been a leal and able servant. Okay, he's rewarding himself because he's my region. Okay, buddy. Okay. At least it's not wards and wardens, whereas my region, he'd fucking make an entrenched regency and I'd have a septum taken over my throne. We have a new Lord of the Vale. Alaric Belmore is Lord of the Vale. He says the grandson shall hold and enjoy his honour until the end of time, and all Lords of the Vale shall pay him homage as their rightful liege. Well, he, he, uh, the Eerie is still under the Aaron, so the Aaron still exists, but now he is in charge. Interesting. He's 18. Very decent stats as well, so it makes sense. He'd be the kind of person you say he's young, he has a son, you know, he, he looks like he'd be a good lord. My, my. You're trying to kill... Or Benfrey Bracken. They're trying to kill Lord Benfrey. Or is he trying to kill me? No one will try and kill baby. Septon Joshua died in strange circumstances in Stokeworth. Why is he my acquaintance when he's in Stokeworth? Daenerys Scales. Who? Oh! A child of Visenya. With weird purple eyes, who is of Sir Ellis. Oh, Sir Artal Scales. Maybe, I don't know, is there a relation to my, the Scales I married into? I have no idea. Hmm. I'm doing nothing for now. I don't want to obligate this guy, he's only just joined. He's got to deal with having literally no troops. <laughs> Whereas I have 5k. The alliance between Paramount Roderick of the North and Medgar has broken down because Roderick died. And now his brother, Eddard, shall take the North. Eddard Stark, that's a good name. And, oh dear, Lord Clarence has passed away. A shame. He got me so much money as a baby. Uh, we'll grant this to a new vassal. So it looks like you're no longer part of the veil. You're a direct vassal of the Iron Throne. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, we're getting a lot of gold, and I don't have a the desire to build a war treasury like my father did. So let's get the garrison size up. And... That took all my money, so... <laughs> oh, is that a disease? Do we have a plague spreading? Oh, dear. I'll get this. I forgot that there's still the Starks in Dragonstone, but they've been reduced to just one province here. <laughs> and it, it is still Dragonstone, though, but Driftmark is the actual capital of that land. So me and Baina was helped to do dishes, but Baina hid the dirty dishes and wants to go play instead. Is that my sister? Yeah. Let's, yeah, no one will find out. Look, I'm a habit causer. That's a very quiet notification. <laughs> uh, I'll grind out to a new, new vessel again. Yeah, I still think this was a glitch that I was able to do this. But kind of a based glitch. I don't know if anybody who knows this spot better than me can tell me if this breaks something by doing this. Please feel free to let me know and I'll like, oops, I've screwed the save forever, oopsie daisy. But I find this very funny that I've been able to do this. Um, attorney, I'm a baby, but I'll attend. 
Well, I'm six now. You know, I want to see some knights fighting. <laughs> Might inspire me to be a knight myself. Even though I'm a poor military ruler. Which feels unfair. I'm, it's, it's, I've got six as a child, so I'm not bad. I'm not going to place a bet. If someone let me place a bet, they are a bad and irresponsible person. <laughs> Who let this baby place a bet? Well, Bentry Brackenman's a bet of a blame tree when next to Jast. He truly deserves it. Congratulations. Look at that, he's keeping harmony in the realm. Lord Royce Godbrook has fun and it's good job, Goodbrook. Okay, they just keep dying. <laughs> I literally just gave him this title. Ah, winter is coming to an end. Wonderful. So I want to get the defenses up in all of them. Because dragons are dragons, but... Because that's what caused this problem last time, is that the, they had dragons, because they married into the Valyrians. You don't have a dragon, right? No. He does not have a dragon. Does your daughter have a dragon? Oh, she's of, she's of age now. Princess Jerry. She has a dragon egg, but she does not have a dragon. Interesting. Arkan Alton. What a name. Maraxes is alive, though. Good on you. Attorney at High Harp. Wonderful. They'll teach me how to be a fighter. I'll watch. And with, one day I will be able to cobblestone myself. Obviously, I don't think... Yeah, cobblestone doesn't apply until you become an adult. I'm actually able to equip it. Why is it inactive? I think it's just inactive because I'm a child. Which would be make sense. Shouldn't be giving children swords. Lord Royce Goodbrook and Sir John Vance were next to Joust in the lists. He truly deserves it. He wants to become a paragon of virtue. Good luck, mate. I don't think that's going to work for you. So, Benefer's Trump. Look, I didn't even have to go far. High Heart's just right there. Look at that. Spent all my childhood watching swords, watching soldiers. Oh, and more prosperity. Wonderful, wonderful. This, this, the reign of Lord Agar is going off to a, dare I say, a smashing success. Compared to his father, who had some early turmoils. But, well, actually, no, his, his, his early reign was probably mostly fine. It was his uh, sort of middle reign. It didn't go as great. Marine Deddings demanded a trial by combat against from her captain Lord Medgar Garrison in Walter Dennings as a champion. He slain Sir Jamie Tully, proving her guilt. So Sir Jamie Tully is dead. No, he he was yeah he was slain by Jamie Tully. So Walter Deddington, who was the Lord of Deddington, is dead, and now Lord Giles is in charge. Wow. I didn't know you were allowed to select lords as uh, your champion. Okay, we will. Once he stops burning, we will call it there for this episode. Thank you guys so much. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. I will see you guys next time for more CK2, A Game of Thrones. Until then.